Hey, we are live. So good afternoon, everyone. We are live on the Pop Up United Facebook page and on popupunited.club on their webpage. I'm Ashley Comrade. I'm a presenter. It's not about me today, but we are live and we are talking to Leanne Creative about her small business, her talent, her creativity, all that good stuff. Can we welcome Leanne to the live chat now? Hi. Hi, Ashley. Hi, everyone. You're right. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Thanks. Yeah, glad it's the weekend. A bit of time yeah. to chill a little bit. <laughs> so, yeah, good. I'm just sharing the live chat. So I want to get the questions and see everything as well. That's been shared. Um, okay. Let's start by asking, um, how has lockdown been for you as a business owner? I don't know if you're a mum, but how has lockdown been for you? Uh, it's been it's been all right I'm not a mum um so it's just I live on my own yeah so at the beginning it was a little bit of a struggle um because I usually work full-time for a design agency and unfortunately because it was quite a small business I was um a lot of the designers were let go so I've been mostly freelancing but it's actually given me a chance to kind of focus on my my own business so it's been a bit of a blessing in disguise in a little in a in a strange way <laughs> good Something positive has come out of it. I'm happy. For you. Yeah. I just, I just want to say, anyone watching on the Pop Up United website or on Facebook, if you want to leave a comment, ask Leanne a question, if you just want to show some love, please leave your mm. comments and we'll for out. We really do appreciate them. Uh, so let's start. Who is Leanne Creative? What do you do? Who are you? Sure. So um, I'm a graphic designer and illustrator. I'm based in South East London and so yeah I've been a graphic designer for about seven eight years um, and I've yeah. slowly kind of moved into illustration and producing my own greeting cards and gifts with my illustrations on them. Excellent uh, I've lost my question hold on <laughs> how did you get <laughs> okay Sorry, um, did... I've always been quite a, um, like a creative person so anything from like dance I dance as well um like writing creative writing and so yeah I've always been into creativity drawing and art um so after college around college university um I got into it through media studies actually and I kind of wanted to get into advertising um and design and then yeah just been working with friends and family so a lot of it's um self-taught um yeah. and then about three years ago I started my own business congrats <laughs> on your business at school, was you good at art? Did you get the A in the GCSE? GCSE, I did. Yeah, I got an A, and then I did um, an A level, AS, uh, A level um, art as well. I got B. In <laughs> but how did you start your own business? Is it just you, or the one woman team, or have you got a team of people? It's me. <laughs> it's me, myself, and I. Yeah. <laughs> so I take care of all that, like, the creative side, and then all the admin side. So yeah, Leanne Creative is literally. Leanne, yeah. How do you look so happy and healthy and it's just you doing this whole? <laughs> I try, I try. <laughs> That's <So> crazy. <laughs> what sort of products and stuff does your company or just you create? <laughs> um, so I started off with just greeting cards. I've got a few examples here. Um, oh, yes, so please. this is like one of the original designs that I created. And yeah. um, it's all I've got over 50 different designs now um featuring black and Asian men women and children this is another mm. one um but since then I've kind of moved on to other products as well so I now have bookmarks coasters magnets notebooks and they all yeah. kind of had the theme of royalty and so it's all about empowerment and making people feel good not just on your birthday but every day so it's something to cherish you're receiving some love I'm loving this this is where I'm <laughs> going to struggle with People's <laughs> names. I'm, if, if I mispronounce it, so um, Bowinda, is that correct? It Ooh. says she loves, oh, yeah. and she's at um, Dylan's dilemma. I don't know what that means, but yeah. thank you for the love. Oh, also, so I'm an illustrator, and um, so I illustrate children's books as well. And Dylan's dilemma <laughs> is one of the books that I've illustrated. I've got here for a little bit of a plug here. <laughs> And um, so, yeah, this is one of the children's books that I illustrated. What's the book about? Cause I don't know about you, how old you are. I think we're similar ages. It was so yeah. rare to see a black book. We had to, like, go to, like, Peckham and the black areas to find this kind of stuff. 
yeah it's so true yeah um it's this this particular book is written by richmond osea kotu and it's mm. a father and son story and he's got a, dile- a dilemma that he has to come through and like you have to read the book to find out what it's about <laughs> but yeah it's a really oh. beautiful story so i felt really good to um to illustrate this and work with richmond so yeah That's i do right. have i will be selling them on my shop as well so to check them out and he's also selling them on pop up united Exactly, exactly. I love that. So Deborah's showing you some love. She's saying she loved them and she sent you some heart emojis. Also, uh-huh. Abby is asking where she can buy your cards from. Abby, you're stealing my question, but still. <laughs> where can you from? Um, so yeah, I'm on um, popupunited.com and also I've got, um, so there's only a few on Pop Up United, but you can also go onto my Etsy shop, which is etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash Leanne Creative. Um, but yeah, if you follow me on Instagram, um, Leanne underscore creative, there's links in my bio to all the different shops that you can find them in. I hope that answered your question, Deborah. <laughs> no, person. Oh, well. Uh, let's go back to me asking you a question. So how long have you been doing this business? Um, so I started in about 2017. Um, it came mm-hmm. about after entering an illustration competition. And I came second place with that. And so I was really pleased with like the feedback that I got from the illustrations. So I decided how can I make this into a business, make it work for me. So I put the illustrations onto greeting cards. And yeah, it's literally just grown from there. I've been so blessed. Like the feedback's been amazing. And just, okay. yeah, it's just. <laughs> this sounds a bit stupid, but I'm going to ask you anyway. How do you create these cards and these images? Is it literally you with pencil and paper? Is it computer? How does it happen? Um, so it's, it's mostly computerized. Um, so mm. sometimes I start with my characters, pe- pencil and paper. Yeah, I'd sketch them out, um, kind of get an idea of what I want it to look like. And then I'd take it onto the computer and, and do the final tweaks on there. Um, and I've kind of developed my own style, which is a polyvector yeah. style. <laughs> it's got like the tiny triangles that make up the different faces. And I think that's kind of unique to me. It's very contemporary. I love it. And I was looking at your Instagram and you you cover everything. It's very diverse. I've seen men, women, two men, father, son. It's just everything. And it's all black love. It's lovely. It's so rare to see. Uh, thank you. Yeah, I try to, um, I take inspiration from anyone. So if I go to events or things like that and I meet people, if I kind of see different hairstyles and hair, and skin tones, I love to just try and represent as many people as possible. Obviously, I can't yeah. represent everyone, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Pop Up United have posted a question asking, what's your product design? No, my, oh, what's, my... Asked, what's your product design? Yeah. Okay. Um, so it's mostly uh, print design. So I do... Mm-hmm. Um, characters and illustrations, mostly profiles as well. Um, so I kind of tend to stick to that. And then the theme of royalty is kind of all, where all my products lie. Um, so I've got kings, queens, princes, princes. Kings and queens and crowns. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, so what do you do? So you design cards. What else do you do? I've seen coasters. What else do you yes, do? You, you tell me. Um, so oh, I've got, wow. this is one of the melanin magic it says so I've got about five different designs of coasters and but that's so got... my, I can't put my drink on that that's so pretty <laughs> people keep saying that to me you know but a lot some some of my clients um, or my customers they put them in like mm. their bathrooms or something or they display them and stuff so they can use it like that um, I've got some bookmarks as well and I write poetry so I've got a poem on the back of each one so um, I've got magnets. Yeah. <laughs> show us, bring it. I want to see it all today. We've yeah. got people watching live. <laughs> this is your chance to show all your talent and skills of me to ask questions that people want to ask. You. Um, Go on. Yeah, sure. Um, so I've got uh, bridge magnets as well, and some of them it's, feature um, different African names. So I've uh, got Ola and Nikechi, and I've got some men's ones as well, um, Kofi. And mm. things like that. And I've got some sketchbooks. So I this one it. says, Dream Big, Live Bigger. Yeah. And that one's blank inside. 
Um, so if you've got any fellow artists or creative um, kids or adults that want to um, get into drawing, maybe this is a good one to going back to school. And then I've got the lined version, which says Born to Change the World. So all about empowering. Oh. And if you can write your dreams down and make them come true, definitely. <laughs> is that all on the Instagram? I did not see all that. Yeah, a few a few different a uh, different products. So, but I do mostly cards. Um, mm. So I've, yeah, as you said, I've got a few different designs mm. for men, women, and children. This is a really new one, actually. Um, features a woman with locks. I have locks, and I don't know why it took me about three years to design <laughs> a card with um, a woman with locks, but I got there eventually. <laughs> I have we out a few people, and I'm going to actually call these people out. So Cassandra has said, so creative, she's really liking what you're doing. And um, Melissa has they're amazing. Cassandra is really loving your work. She's commented again. Uh, she said, well, I love you. this. So you, you guys, you ladies who are commenting, you need to go on to popupunited.com and buy. It's all right to comment. Yeah. You need to go and buy and support Leanne. <laughs> What's your website again, Leanne? Pardon, sorry? It's your website. So these, these ladies who are loving your work can go and spend some money. Yeah, so it's um yeah, popupunited.com uh, forward slash Leanne Creative. I think if you search Leanne Creative, or you can go on to Etsy, that's E T S Y dot com forward slash shop yeah. forward slash Leanne Creative. So yeah, you can have a look at all I my see, products. I see the ladies in the comments. I want them to go and purchase these. Let's go back to talking to you. Um <laughs> not that for everybody, I think. How how have you found your motivation to do this? just by yourself and to keep going yeah um at first it was kind of hard it's a bit daunting I think once the lockdown first started um as I said I was working full-time and then to have that just automatically just taken away it was quite daunting but I think I'm quite um a resourceful person I like to do lots of different stuff I love to dance and write and everything so I'm always kind of doing something so to be able to make turn that into a business was kind of a natural progression for me um I kind of wanted to get into freelance um eventually so it's kind of a, a bit of a kick <laughs> and to get me going and also seeing loads of other businesses kind of starting up and kind of being more independent kind of motivated me to to get into action really as well good you're doing well are, are you doing well how is business for you it is yeah it's going actually quite well I think having the um my greeting cards and my products um, as like a passive income on the side is always useful. But um, the majority of my work is de like designing logos, flyers and um, children's books as well. So that's that's what really keeps me busy. And like, yeah, it's been it's been amazing. I've met loads of new authors and new businesses that need branding design. So, yeah, like, I'm being very, very fortunate. Yeah. <laughs> Excited, Sue, because you're young and you're doing something amazing. I don't know your age, but I'm just assuming you're young. You're just doing oh. good stuff and you're <laughs> seeing more and more because we're seeing a lot of negativity at the minute. So it's just so nice to see someone doing something positive and something just good. I'm really happy for you. Oh, thank you. Thanks so much. I'm 32, by the way. <laughs> but <Good. laughs> yeah. Black girl should be selling some face cream along with some of those masks. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <But after. laughs> I, don't know, I think it's the dancing. I love to dance and stuff. Keeps me, keeps me young and stuff. <laughs> okay, so someone called. I've got to go closer now. I've got two screens. Here, I can't read. Um, uh, I think I Slim. He's asking how much your lovely cards are. Please give us a price list. Run through everything because they're watching. Yeah. They need to be buying. Stuff. Okay, sure. So they kind of range from uh, three pounds to three twenty. So um, depends, like. Yeah, like these ones are three pounds each. And then the ones with a bit more complex designs or more gems, they go up to like three pounds 20. Mm -hmm. And then um, like the magnets are two pounds each and the coasters are five pounds each. Um, so there's a, there's a... They need to be paying attention because coasters is a lot more than three pounds 20. And we're supporting a black <laughs> business. It's true, you're a black woman. We're supporting your independent business and we're yeah. giving people cards greeting cards magnets coasters of what reflects them you know yeah. how many times have you got your mum your auntie whoever a card and it's got a teddy bear on it you know yeah. my mom, <laughs> she's not that heavy <laughs> anyway, these cards reflect us so yeah three pound 20 is a very very good price 
Yeah. And also there's um I've got a few cards. Um I have one with me. And um, so this mm. one is uh that one's 320 as well. But one pound yeah. from every sale of this card goes to the ACLT, which is the African Caribbean Leukemia Trust as well. And so as you can see, it's got um a woman with short hair on there. And that was kind of inspired yeah. by my mum, actually, who went through chemotherapy for leukemia. And so she lost mm-hmm. her hair. So I needed, I thought I needed to have a card that represented mm-hmm. a group of women who have short hair. Um, Is that your so phone? yeah, I decided to, to donate. That's your phone vibrating, isn't it? I hope that's all. Yeah, I, hope so... you... <laughs> I hope people are on the website. You can sort it, I'll talk. I hope people are on the website on <laughs> pop.com and on leanne creative stuff website instagram buying her stuff just type into google i did that today it's there yeah. <laughs> cool. so abby has asked the question um she says do you ship to the usa i do yeah i've had um lots of customers actually to the usa canada um belgium germany yeah so yeah i ship worldwide so if you go into my etsy shop then i can definitely ship them out Abby, I know you're watching. Log on to popupunited.com. Log on to the Etsy store. Search Leanne Creatives and look everywhere and buy. <laughs> and, and Etsy changes it. I'm sure Pop Up United, they change it into dollars for you. So buy £3.20 in English money. I don't know how much that is in America. How much is that? Yeah. Maybe um, I'm not 100% sure. Put <laughs> good value. I don't care. Yeah. Send one to find him who he is working for. Pardon? Sorry, say that again. Send, tell her to send it to President Trump to remind him who he's working for. Yeah. Send him a black <laughs> It's true, yeah. <laughs> I might send one to Boris and um, that evil woman we've got, that Home Secretary. Anyway, I'm back to this. <laughs> we need to send these people because there's a lot of talent here and it's black talent and we need to remind it and celebrate it and share it. So, yeah. Yeah. And um, also with my greeting cards, they're all um, hand finished with gems as well. I probably can't see that, but yeah, each one's got gems on there. Um, so yeah. just give that extra special twist. And some people, like they, like I said, they frame them and keep them um, for mm-hmm. years to come. So it's not just a greeting card. I actually wrote a blog about that. Um, not just being greeting cards. It's a way of um, making people feel good improving mental health and empowering people, making sure they feel represented as well. This is beautiful. So you're looking after people, you're making them feel represented, you get a nice little <laughs> touch, giving money to charity, and the cards are exceptional value. We're not, we're not going to lie. Go to Clinton's, go to the supermarket, Hallmark cards. I don't know if you go mm. to the supermarket. They are expensive. <laughs> they are so <laughs> expensive. I said they're yeah. teddy bears, but they're cats. I don't look like yeah. a cat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we like to have yeah. we, we have stuff that reflects us. So go and support Leanne Creative. Again, search her on Instagram. Go to popupunited.com. Purchase some cards. Now, we've got a question from iSlim. I, I like this guy. He's really he's really into it. Thank you. <laughs> I can him right. He's asking, uh, what would you say your best design is? Oh, my best design mm-hmm. I, I have to say I love them all because they're mine <laughs> but I'd say um from like a the bestseller is probably this one um too blessed to be stressed and that's actually one of my original cards as well so yeah. I think people just love the colors it's kind of like a bright summery um feel yeah. and and then the the wording too blessed to be stressed it can be used for birthdays or mm. just just because if you're thinking about someone that's a little bit stressed, just reminding them of their blessings. So I think, yeah, that, that's definitely my my best design. I think quite proud of this one. <laughs> Thank you. So you guys watching online and online, everyone's watching online. If you're watching on Facebook, <laughs> in on the Pop Up United website, leave your questions, your comments. I'm reading them. I've got screens everywhere. It's like an airplane in here. And I'll ask <laughs> the question. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> for my eyes because there's so many screens we'll ask the questions yeah. we'll keep them um let me ask you so have you faced any difficulties because you said you do so much of it by yourself yeah what difficulties um I think probably the biggest would be just juggling everything and trying to as I said like packaging and posting out and everything but 
I kind of get a system system going and I'm a bit of a night owl as well so I don't mind being up late and kind of getting things done um so that's that's quite cool and then probably as I said get, moving into freelance from being a full, full-time worker that's probably been my biggest difficulty kind of that unknown that feeling of unknown I'm sure loads of people are in that space at the moment and kind of yeah. In, either in between jobs or completely changing their career and starting their business they just stepping into something that's quite new that's that's been a struggle but <laughs> I guess having more time has allowed me to kind of market my own business and grow from yeah. there and just overcome some like own my own struggles I guess in terms of mm-hmm. confidence and doing things like this I'd never do this like a year ago <laughs> but I've been um quite lucky to have a lot and I do presenting quite a bit and this is new for me it's it's yeah. not the most it's okay, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's not, I'm yeah. I'm still getting well okay have you been doing it for a while I've been doing presenting for a while online I haven't and I'm still a bit hmm <laughs> <laughs> yeah but um some question from, we're going to say the audience, there are audience, from Abby. Abby, I'm loving these questions. I hope as you're writing these questions, Abby, you are also purchasing online. That is very important. <laughs> Asking, do you make custom-made cards? Yeah, I do have some people um, contact me. So if they want a picture of their loved one or friend, then, yeah, they've sent me their photo and I can illustrate them on the front cover of the card and get yeah. that printed and sent out to you yeah definitely I've had um about three or four so far and um, yeah do you do portraits I, I, I'll tell you why if someone's asking questions I'm gonna ask my answer my questions first <laughs> do you make <laughs> because there's this guy on Instagram and um we'll be honest he's a boy and I like what he, he had some cool sort of illustrations and it was all people on t-shirts and hoodies and portraits and I was like yeah, yeah. I'll go to you I'll pay 20 pounds but now I've met you. Do you do personalized uh, portraits, t-shirts? Um, I could have a portrait right here in the house of just me. <laughs> I actually recently did a portrait um, for a couple for their anniversary, and so yeah, I did um, a couple, and they got it printed onto a canvas, like a big canvas for the 25th anniversary. So yeah, as long as you've got like a clear photo, then I can take that and illustrate that either in my polyvector style with the tiny triangles or more of a cartoony style as well. So if you have a look at my my site, then you can see the different illustration styles that I do. Um, unfortunately, I don't have in-house printing, so I do have to send them out to get printed or I can send That's you right. the design and um, one person actually charge. got their... Uh, Sorry? <laughs> just make sure you charge appropriately for that hard work. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Because um, someone actually got their, they wanted their daughter illustrated, and she printed yeah. it onto an iPad cover for her birthday. So I thought that was mm. really sweet. So yeah, literally, I can send you the design, and you can print it on anything that you yeah. like. Yeah. Just had an idea for Christmas cards. I hate sending out Christmas oh. cards. Yeah, no, <laughs> <laughs> I'm friendly. So I might just send out Christmas cards with my face on it, and it's like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's true. Corona's coming back, so I need to be creative. <laughs> exactly. Just re- remind everyone, this is me. <laughs> That's it, we don't know what's around the corner. Let me ask you, uh, who have you worked with? This is your time to name drop. Who have you worked with? Um, so Most of my, my clients, in terms of like their branding and design work, are upcoming businesses, new businesses. But I've also um, written some blogs um, with jammy.com. They're like a, a Black-owned um, platform to, for discovering yeah. Black-owned businesses. So I, I write blogs for them. And um, yeah. at the beginning of the year, I was on BBC Radio London as well, just talking about my business. So that was like, I, <laughs> that was crazy for me. That was, And it was actually on my birthday as well, 13th of, July, of January. I got yeah. yeah I got managed to get onto the radio which was amazing that's probably like the biggest um thing I've done in, in design wise so, so you that was a lot of media oh, okay so you did a lot of media you should be used to it now and just relax a bit <laughs> <laughs> I should be I should be yeah I'm getting getting better definitely <laughs> my full of ways is just smile because if you yeah. smile better you look better and yeah it just comes <laughs> 
because we're not talking about politics. There's nothing horrible here. We're celebrating you. Have we got any more <laughs> questions? Um, no. Now, I can see you guys on the website, on the Facebook. If you've got questions, if you want to ask Leah any questions, please leave the comments. We're having a good time here. Leave the yeah. comments. Go back to asking you questions. So what are you currently working on? Um, so I've got a few projects in the pipeline. Um, so I've got a couple of children's books that I'm working with uh, new authors. And um, so I've got two that should be out uh, anytime soon. <laughs> should be done uh, by the, probably September. Um, and I've just worked with a new author who's produced an activities book, um, an empowerment activity book called um, Yes, I Can. And so that's out and that's by Janine Richards. And also I as I love to write myself, I've got my own book. Hopefully I want to release it for Christmas. And um, so I'm oh. writing and illustrating that myself. <laughs> Anita, what is your book about, please? <laughs> so it's all, of, it's a bit abstract. It's got aliens, it's for kids. Um, and it's all about kind of accepting your differences. So you've got these two different aliens that look very different and they're kind of questioning, why do you look like that? Why do you like, look like this? How come you don't look like me? And so it's got that underlying theme of accepting people's differences. And yeah, in the end, they kind of um, embrace uh, who they are and what they are. So yeah, check that uh, out. Hopefully by December, that will be out. Christmas, <laughs> you are very If You're making that. When come January, everyone's <laughs> broke. So you're going to be there. Uh, I've got two months. <laughs> yeah, true. You're going to have money in January when everyone's broke. I'm going to try and squeeze in two more. Um, so I find this cheesy, but I'm still going to ask you. Where do you see yourself in five years? Okay, um, so five years. I'd love to just continue to grow um, my products, especially. And so I'd like to make that the main focus. So at the moment, it's more the illustrating and design work. Um, whereas mm. I'd probably like to switch that over and have more products and that be my main income. Um, but yeah, just con continuing what I do at the moment. Um, a big house would be nice. <laughs> um, I'd love to go on holiday if we're allowed to. Um, yeah. And just, yeah, be successful and meet lots of new people, meet new businesses, and hopefully have my products out there on the, in the high street shops and be, like, the main place to go for cards and gifts. Okay. Everybody watching, your last reminder to go to popupunited.com and to search in Google. It works. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Etsy, mm -hmm. everywhere. Gang Creative and popupunited.com to buy some products. This is your last warning for questions. So I'm going to go and speak. I've got my last question for Leanne. So if you have any questions, any comments, any love you want to show, drop the comments now. Yeah. We're going to give them a moment. <laughs> okay. So, Leanne, I'm going to ask you, um, where can we buy your stuff? Where can we search it? Are you going to any events soon? Is any events happening in any markets and where we can see you in person and see your product? Yeah, yeah, I will be actually next Sunday. I'll be at mm. Fox Park Croydon. I'm Croydon. I'm local as well. So if you come down to Fox Park from ten, I'm sorry, eleven a.m. and that's an event by Carib and Co. Brunch in collaboration with Black Minds Matter UK. So about raising awareness for mental health. And yeah, there'll yeah. be. I'll be there. Um, I'll have a copy of. Um, I'll have copies of Dylan's Dilemma, the book that I've illustrated, as well as all my products, as well. And there'll be loads of other vendors and artists and talk talks as well. There's lots of food there, so yeah, it'll be a really good vibe. Um, and it's all about like supporting black businesses. So. Good quality products. It's, it's worth it. It's worth the drive down to Croydon for the food and the good, yes. the good quality. <laughs> Come down to South. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so just to wrap up. Where can we buy your products online? Of course, popupunited.com. Where else can we go? Yeah, so um, as I said, on Etsy.com. Or if you've got a Jammy card, that's J A M double -I, I, um, you can go to jammy.com and they've got 10% off my greeting cards and my coasters as well. So if you sign up for that discount card, you can get that as well. Um, I'm also on Thoughtful. I've got some um, exclusive cards on Thoughtful. That's um, T H O R T F U L dot com, but it's spelled slightly yeah. differently. And those are exclusive to your thoughtful, so you can't find them anywhere else. Um, so I've got like number cards for like your 21st, 18th birthday, 30th. And so, yeah, they feature um, black men, women, and
question as well. We need to wrap up, but I was just seeing Cassandra has come in late. Cassandra, where you been? She just starts to use self notebooks. <laughs> that's that's naughty, Cassandra. Very naughty. <laughs> I do. So I've got two different notebooks at the moment. And um, this one says um, dream big, live bigger. And that's blank, blank inside. Or I've got the born to change the world, which has lines inside. So then, yeah, again, they're all available on my shop. <laughs> Well, Leanne, thank you so much for joining us today. It's been a lot of fun. I've learned about your business. I hope I get to see you at an event somewhere selling yeah. and making money. Uh, definitely. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's been really cool. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you, Leanne. And it looks like that's that. Thank you so much for watching this live on popupunited.com and their Facebook page. It's been a lot of fun. If you want to follow me, you can do that. Search me. I'm Ashley Comrade UK and all the social media. Thank you again for watching.